You know, when I was in private practice, I had a wise attorney tell me one time, despite the fact that you finish something quickly in order to produce a quality product for your client, the time in which you do it, that client will think that if you took not enough time, the value decreases. And I always thought that was odd that the more the free services you provide, the less the client respects the services that you give. And over time throughout my career, I noticed that to be true. When you give away defense work or legal insight to people, you'll be surprised how and when they're in the situation that they're in, how compliant they are and happy to be delivered from whatever their problem. But very shortly thereafter, there's a sense that they don't appreciate the value of the services that were rendered. Well, why is that? Well, it's because they don't understand the value of the time and the effort placed in it, because it didn't cost them anything. There was no um, personal expense, personal time. You know, you see this with our, oh, used with my children when they were growing up. Uh, as they got older, even when they were younger, you'd give them things, and if it was uh, something you gave them, sometimes that uh, toy or even in, as a teenager, a vehicle, they didn't really take care of it. Well, why is that? Because they didn't pay for it. Because it was given to them for free. It was given to them without cost to them. But when they had to get a job, uh, pay for the gas, purchase their own vehicle, and do things such as that, you would be surprised, and maybe not, how they, their personal opinion as to the value of that vehicle or value of that computer or something that they purchased changes. You know, sometimes we forget that. And in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 2, he tells us to consider, consider it pure joy when we face trials of many kinds, because you, you know, we know that the testing of our faith develops perseverance or endurance. And you know, when one says consider, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that the pure joy is, we're just gonna believe it's pure joy, even though the situation is difficult. Because consider doesn't mean to just make believe think. It's to contemplate, but it's not just contemplate. The word in the original tends to mean leading ahead, like chiefly considering, putting it in the forefront, something that to uh, reflect upon. It's, it's a mental activity that says, here's the facts of the situation, and understanding the purpose, as James tells us at the end, is to develop endurance or perseverance. And we consider what's going on and occurring for us or to us or around us as a mechanism to develop our faith and endurance. That doesn't make it easy, but it does indicate that it costs something. That endurance is built upon trials, uh, storms. And we know that we can ask for wisdom and we know we can we're searching to strengthen our faith by understanding that God works the good for those who love him or are called according to his purpose in Romans chapter 8. So we understand that. But we must recognize, or I have to recognize it, when we may value something that's given free, not at the level in which someone paid the price for. And I think you know what I'm talking about. A price was paid for you and me. It was paid. We didn't pay it. Christ paid it on the cross. And consider that, that he gave all, God gave all. He gave his only begotten son, John says, for you and me. It cost dearly. It wasn't free to him, but it is free to you. How are you considering it? How do you consider the trials of many kinds? How do you consider that gift? How do you treat it? Something to think about.